Hey guys, we're on to the case of the lunchroom murder. Now, you're going to be a little bit on your own on this one. But you're going to see two things. In the class pages, you're going to see that there is a sheet for questions to be answered, and then you'll have to do your Word document in the end for the Dropbox where you give your claim and your evidence and your reasoning based on your questions. So, although you're going to see some of this in this play posit, you're also going to see that there are two different things to work with at the end in the class pages. So let's get started. The lunchroom murder. Welcome to day three. At this point, you're a seasoned vet. You've made yourself a name in the department and things can only go up from here. We have one more case to throw on your plate this week. You'll need to state your own claim, come up with reasons, and back it up with evidence that you've gathered. Good luck. Our objective is the same as the last two days. You need to analyze an image and accompanying story in order to determine what's effective evidence, write your claim, and make sure it's well supported. So here is an introduction to this scene. On an otherwise uneventful Thursday afternoon, police heard a shot inside Ernie's lunchroom, rushed in, and found the scene shown in figure 1.4, which you will see in a minute. They identified the body as that of a prominent racketeer named Fannin. Ernie, who is both the owner and only employee, had only one fact to tell. The murderer had leaned against the wall while firing at point blank range. The imprint of his hand is in clear view. The cash register has just been rung up at $8.75. This is a difficult case, but I know you can do it. So take a minute and write down anything that might help you with your claim. Facts from the report. Now here's the crime scene. And you're gonna notice a couple of things about this scene. Not only do you have the checks of the people that were there, A, B, C, and D's checks with the amount that they spent, you're also gonna see that their seats are labeled A, B, C, and D. So you know where everybody sat. You're gonna see more than one set of footprints, okay, which are labeled. And you're gonna see Fannin down in the lower corner. Since Fannin has not been moved from the crime scene yet, we will not have an autopsy report but there are many clues to help you in this scene. So make sure to write down anything that you might think you need. What we have here is a list of questions. These are the ones that you're gonna answer in the class link document, and these will help you solve this case. So with what hand did the shooter fire the gun? What's your evidence? How do you know this? Did customers B, C, and D know each other? How do the three customers differ in their habits or ways of doing things? You may wanna look back at the picture. Which set of footprints are Ernie's? How do you know? Who belongs to the X marked footprints and how do you know? And in the end, this will help you with your last piece. Who killed Fannin? How do you know? Outline all the evidence and all the reasoning necessary to support your claim. So you do have to answer these questions, but these will ultimately lead you to be able to write your report, okay, your paragraph in the end. So after reviewing the official report, there is no autopsy, the crime scene, and then the question sheet. What do you think? Feel free to look back through the evidence so you can follow correct protocol for your final report. You can take notes on paper or in the electronic notes section. Remember, you'll be coming up with a claim, reasons, and evidence before you turn it in. Did you make the claim? Have you described what was found at the scene and what an autopsy would reveal? Have you incorporated at least three pieces of evidence? Have you provided the reasons that explain why the evidence is important to your claim? And have you made a recommendation about what should happen next or what more evidence would be needed? Once you feel like those questions are answered and you feel like your notes are done, then you should go and submit your report. Only needs to be a paragraph. Just make sure you address everything so that you're not getting hit hard with the counterclaim from the defense. Good luck, detective.